Hey everyone, this is Catherine Donovan, and here I have another episode of Catherine the Fury. Okay, do you hate it when your boss gets pretty snappy at you and is becoming quite a jerk to you? Maybe this person is really stressed, or maybe they're just, they're just going under pressure, and they have a lot on their mind. But then, whatever they have at home, or whatever problems they have going on inside their head, you can't just snap at people. Well, what can you do? They're your boss, right? Okay. So, in the last few days, I guess I was working with this boss that I worked for, for since last year and this year. I mean, yeah, she had her moments, but also, I hate it when she has these moments because... I don't think it's right for her to do this. Um, I'm not going to give out the name of this lady, even though she is very respectful and really nice, but sometimes she can be an absolute... Ugh, she can be, uh, I guess, a prick at times. But I don't hate her. But what I do want to say is this. Like... Every single time I try to take two, three boxes, I can't take three because the other one is so heavy. So I decided to just leave one and I'll come back for the other one later. But she snaps at me for it, just like she did today. And I'm like, uh, do you want me to put this back? And she's like, just take it. She says, I go, okay. And I walked off, just put the box. And I, and I, I am told that... I can't always put bigger boxes on smaller boxes because they're going to fall over. She snapped at me for that. Like, you can't put that there. See? And then she just takes the box and just puts it down. I go, okay. And also when I try to say, I'm sorry, and she doesn't hear me, I try to say it again. She still didn't hear me. I'm like, whatever. Whatever. Okay. But earlier, um, one of my coworkers was asking if, there was going to be this new person we were supposed to get. And she called out to my boss. My boss didn't hear. So I went over and I'm like, I'll do it for you. And I asked her. And she snaps at me saying, Everybody just leave me alone about it. This person is not even coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, God. But at the outside, I was like, okay, okay. And I told my coworker, like, uh, that person's not coming. And... And then my boss was like, if I hear any more about this, my head's going to explode. Not really, per se. If some of you are kind of autistic like me and you take things literal and logical, don't take this too seriously. Somebody's head is not going to literally explode. What it means is, it's kind of like she's going to blow off steam. Like, she's going to get angry and have a bit of a meltdown. That's what she means. So, the reason why I explain that, I know all of you are aware of it, but there are some of you that take this kind of literally and be like, oh no, her head's going to explode. No, 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 no. Don't take that too seriously. I know I used to think like that when I was a kid. But, yeah. And I guess that sounds kind of stupid because you're like, what do you think we are, a bunch of babies? That's exactly what my boss was thinking. Because on the radio, they were mentioning about how, oh yeah, re red means stop, yellow means blah, blah. I guess they were mentioning that because of the presidential debate thing and stuff. And when they mentioned the street lights, my boss goes, what kind of person would think that we're just a bunch of babies what are we idiots we know what a street light is i go uh yeah but maybe she, he's talking about that for the kids and she, and she goes kids can't even drive yet and i'm like okay okay fine i don't know what to tell you i'm sorry but in my mind i was just thinking oh my god she's being kind of a bitch she can't just say that. I, I don't know why on the radio they mention the street lights of what they mean. I don't know. Maybe they're just saying that because some people, like, you know, maybe there are some people that don't know what the freaking street lights mean. I mean, I know everyone does, but maybe there are some people out there that just don't know that. And the reason why I say that is because I'm being kind of perspective. 
I'm being perspective, per se. I don't know what these people are thinking. And you can't just label them as everyone being idiots. And my boss was like trying, was complaining about that because, well, yeah. She was just like complaining about, oh, the whole presidential. Oh, this guy is such an idiot. Nah, 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 nah. Um, I'm like just being like, yep, yep. But inside I'm like, what the heck? Why are you complaining? And the same coworker that was trying to ask my boss was like, where am I going to put all this? And then my boss goes, will you just chill out? And I can't help but mutter to myself when I'm not around my boss. I'm just putting something away. I go, maybe you should watch yourself on what you do. You're being kind of a bitch. But I don't say that to her face. But, you know, not everyone's going to be the most perfect person in the world. Okay? And then I'm like... I'm trying to put boxes and I'm trying to organize them. And my boss is like, hurry up. Come on, hurry. I have more boxes. Like, and I'm like, I'm coming, I'm coming. She's just like, hurry up, hurry up. I go, really? I don't say really. I just, in my mind, I'm like, really? Come on, I'm trying to organize something here. I understand that's not important. But also, I don't want to get yelled at and complained at for it. I'm trying my best here. But I don't want to complain to people and be like, oh man, my boss is such a bitch. What is wrong with her? No, no, no. What I'm trying to say, I, and I don't really usually talk about work because I don't want to be like one of those people that talk about work even though they're not always that bad. And then in the end they get fired. Trust me, I watched a video on the taco, even though maybe I mentioned it. And they mention about people who got fired for just one post on Facebook about their jobs. And that's why you should be careful on what you post, even on a video or even on Twitter or anywhere else. And I'm not trying to post this to get myself fired. That's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to say is, I don't know. And I was trying to be, I went to another one of my coworkers when we had break and I was like, I, I couldn't help. I was trying to be nice. I didn't want to complain. I I was just like asking um, one of my coworkers saying, oh, is, is the boss okay? Like she seems a little bit cranky, a little stressed. But my coworker's like, ah, uh, who knows? So I guess maybe he did know, but he didn't want to complain about that. And that's the thing. Like with bosses, like when you're dealing with bosses, you can't always like can't just be a jerk to your workers I'm not trying to judge this person for that but you know I understand bosses are aren't going to be always nice to you they, they're gonna be really cranky and they have like this deadline and they pressure their workers it's not like they're trying to do this to make them torture or well maybe there are some bosses that are like that but when bosses like take out things on you you can't just do that i don't know if you're stressed or anything i'm not gonna judge you but also i don't like your attitude and how you treat me but i'm not here to judge you i still respect you as a person but i just want you to do better you're not going to be the most perfect person fine but i want you to do your best because I still respect you as a person. I'm not going to say any names because that is not going to help. I'm, and you know, you guys, I'm trying my best to do the best I can. I'm not going to be the most greatest worker in the world and get the recognition. I'm not looking for that. I'm doing the best I can. Even if I screw up, I'm going to try again and just work on it because I'm only human. And I know it's going to take time for me to like learn the ropes still, even if I still struggle, even though I think differently than other people, I just get kind of frustrated at times with doesn't matter who I love my job I still do but when you have a boss that gets kind of snappy I don't know what he or she is going through 
but as long as you treat your workers with respect I'm not trying to do like how to be the best boss or the good boss and how you can't just snap at people no I'm saying just try your best you're not gonna be perfect nobody's expecting perfection <sighs> honestly and also like I heard from someone who can't stand my boss saying how much of a bitch she is and how she got fired from the front desk because of her attitude I don't think that is the case I thought maybe she was replacing my older boss who had to leave because she had to work on the floor and also she wasn't working there anymore because she suffered of a stroke and she's wheelchair bound for now but she was like 30 at the time but I guess she was pretty overweight but she was still sweet and she was very respectful to me and she was very nice the new one she is nice too but she does have her moments and nobody's gonna be perfect so you gotta just grin and bear it I know what you're thinking what grin and bear it are you kidding me how can you deal with a person that's going to snap at you? Well, you know what? Life is not going to be always good to you. Just when somebody is treating you like shit and aren't going to be the best person, grin and bear it and be like, okay, even in your mind, you just want to scream at them saying, stop yelling at me. I'm doing my job. No, I want you to try your best to just smile and do the best you can just don't fake smile just be like okay cool great but then later when you get home you get to you you can go in your room or you can just plop on the couch and sigh have a good cry and then just be like uh why why is this person treating me like shit like just let the pressure out at home don't take it out on work believe me i had a few meltdowns myself but as long as I didn't got in trouble, I try to do the best I can. Even if I'm not going to be perfect, it's not going to be that easy. So anyway, I just want to share with that because maybe you guys are going through a problem with work. And I don't want to mention any names or anyone. But I don't also want to get in trouble for this because I'm just expressing on how I feel and maybe I can help you guys with that too so anyway thank you so much for listening and watching I'll see you next time bye bye